Albert. Uh, I studied in Samyang University, Chonan Campus. Uh, it is located in Chonan City, South Korea. I am from the Philippines. So actually, I, after I took the board exam, I did not know what to do. And then I went to my university and they said there's an opening in South Korea for a master's in structural engineering. So uh, I said I'll think about it, but my, my teacher said that uh, just go for it, you know, just try and um, see what will happen. And after a month, I'm flying to Korea already. So I think uh, I actually did not look for the scholarship, I mean something like that. It just uh, came to me and I took it. Uh, actually, I did not choose the school. So the, the school from Korea actually wanted someone from my university, from USD, to apply. So uh, my teachers from University of Santo Tomas said, said that, uh, hey Albert, this Sangmin University is looking for a structural engineering student, so would you like to come? So I said, okay, I think uh, it's a very good opportunity. And actually, I wanted to study structural engineering, not environmental, not water, just maybe structural engineering. And I guess I was at the right place at the right time. So I think one of the main differences that I encountered was um, in the Philippines, the student-to-teacher relationship um, stops once you go outside the classroom or the university. In Korea, even if you're outside the university, the student-to-teacher relationship continues. You can talk about uh, everything to your teacher and then you go to lunch together, you eat dinner together and you could talk about your personal life. It's just like in Korea, your teacher is like your second parent. I think in Korea, the saying that your teacher is like your second parent really applies. But in the Philippines, it's not the case. Because here, if you talk about your personal life to your teacher, it's a little bit awkward and it's not just annoying. So I think that's one of the main difference. And then the second difference is that um, in Korea, there's more pressure to do good in school. In the Philippines, we're more relaxed. In Korea, um, it's very hard to find a good job. So most of the students, their parents, tell them that they have to do very good in school for them to uh, find a very good job once they graduate. Here in the Philippines, you just have to graduate in the university and you have to have good connections. And if you do good, I mean, if you do well in work, then you just, um, uh, what do you call this? You just, uh, I, mean, I mean, you just, it's, it just spreads, you know, by word of mouth. To, that hey, this guy's doing good, so maybe you'd like to get into, uh, you'd like to recruit into your company or something like that. I said, I, like, I worked from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., so I had to make research and presentations and things like that. But if I finish, like, Early, I could leave, and um, actually, uh, you could just tell your professor, hey, professor, I'm done with my work, can I go early? So, I think he's very, um, uh, he's not very strict, so his schedule is very flexible. It's just that if there's a meeting, you cannot go anywhere, like, you have to prepare for that meeting or something like that. And during weekends, there's uh, no work, so you can meet with your, like, um, with your friends and you could spend time like, um, together with them. If you have further questions, visit a friend abroad.com.